In this video, we will review downloading available reports from the Reports section of the CyberSource Business Center. To begin, from the left navigation menu, select Reports. Then, within the Downloadable Reports section, click Available Reports. This will open a page with reports available for you to download. To download a report, click on the Download link in the left-hand column. Your report will begin to download immediately. Next, let's look at the filters in this page that will help you locate specific reports. As a portfolio partner or account level user, by default, the Merchant ID field will show your organization ID. Any filters that are selected in the search section will be reflected in the search results below. These are the reports that you have created. You can create reports that include data from all your merchants, for a specific merchant, or for a group of merchants. You may use the Merchant ID filter to select the Merchant ID and view reports they have created. You will not have the ability to create or manage reports on behalf of your merchants. If you are a merchant, you will not see the Merchant ID filter. You will automatically be viewing your own reports. By default, you will see reports generated in the last seven days. You may choose a different date range using the date range filter. When you use this filter, you're searching for reports generated in a specific time frame. By default, you will see reports of all frequency. Use the frequency filter to select hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or one-time report subscriptions. For example, filtering on frequency one time is an easy way to locate ad hoc reports. The keyword filter is a powerful way to locate a particular report. You may enter a value to search across all columns in the table. For example, if you are looking for all reports with test in the name field, enter the text in the keyword text field and then click search. The search results of available reports are displayed below. The tabs at the top of the available reports screen organize your reports into categories. The custom reports tab contains any reports generated from custom subscriptions that you have created in the Report Subscription Management section. The Classic Reports tab contains reports that have been created in this platform for merchants who are using the Legacy platform. The Standard Reports tab contains any standard pre-configured reports that you have subscribed to. The Third Party Reports tab contains any reports that are provided by a third party, such as your payment processor. The Legacy Reports tab contains reports that were generated by the Legacy platform. Note that a tab could be empty if there are no reports in that category for your organization ID. If you have watched the video on report subscription management, you are already familiar with report type and frequency. Let's talk briefly about some other elements in the available report screen. Status. This column shows the status of your report. When your report is complete, it will show a status of complete or complete with no data. No data is not an error condition. It means that there were no transactions to report. While your report is in progress, it will show a status of in progress. Report data range shows the period covered by the report. A report could cover 24 hours, one week, one month, or an arbitrary length of time chosen by the user. If you are looking for reports covering a particular date range, use either the keyword filter or the column filter. You may also view the report generate date. The generate date is the date on which the report was generated by the system and available for you to download for recurring subscriptions. This date will reflect the system generated date for the selected date range. For one time reports, it is important to remember that this date might be different from the actual date of transactions in the report depending on what date you chose for this report. Results are sortable by column name. You may filter your results using the column filters. For example, enter ad hoc in the report name field to find all reports with ad hoc in the report name field. Thank you for watching this video on available reports. For additional help, please refer to the online help in the Business Center.